Glory to Jesus. Amen. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Matthew chapter 2. I've got five minutes. Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will, sh who will shepherd my people Israel. So the, the topic of my message, five minutes, maybe six, is the good shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd. And in the times when they cared for their sheep, the shepherds of the old stayed and slept with the sheep. So that when there was a storm or there was strong wind like we had today, north wind. And when heavy rains came and there was a fear of flooding, what the good shepherd would do, the shepherd would take his staff and hit against the rock. He would hit against the rock so that the sheep would know that their shepherd was still with them. That because of the thunderstorms and because of the rain, their shepherd had not deserted them. That the shepherd had not run into a cave for shelter and left the sheep all on their own. Do you know that Jesus is our good shepherd? And in times of trouble, in times in your life it seems all hell is breaking loose. When everything is going wrong, the good shepherd says, fear not, I am with you. I am with you. I have not left you, nor forsaken you. And the good shepherd is such that one day he spoke to a man who was walking on the beach. You know the story. And as he walked, the man was having a great time in his life. God's blessing, God's provision, God's favor, everything that he desired and wanted was given to him. And as he walked on the beach, he felt another set of footprints and he knew that the set of footprints that walked with him was the footprints of the Lord and he was joyful about it. But then a time came in his life when everything fell apart, everything, you name it. It was like the story of Job. Everything fell apart. And in the evening when the sun was setting, he walked on the beach. And as he walked on the beach, he looked on his side, but he did not see the second set of footprints. And he cried out to the Lord, Lord, in my times of joy and provision, you walked with me. But today, when I am going through difficulties in my life, where are you, my good shepherd? And he heard the voice of the Lord in his heart. And the voice of the Lord spoke in his heart. Today, when you are going through difficult times, when it seems that everything is going wrong in your life, today you do not see my footprints because today you only see my footprints. I am carrying you. In times of trouble, the good shepherd does not leave you, nor forsake you. He carries you. The good shepherd will fight for his sheep. David, the shepherd boy, he fought with a lion. He fought with a bear to save his flock. Will not Jesus Christ, who is the good shepherd, fight for his children? Will you not do that? And when one of our lambs is lost, when one of our sheep is lost, Will not the good shepherd do all in his strength, all in his power, to go and rescue that lamb, that man, that woman who is lost? Today the Lord is calling upon the church. Today the Lord is calling upon the church leaders to rise up and bring back the flock into the fold. There are many who call upon the name of Jesus 
but they do not know who Jesus is. They do not know that he is the Savior. They do not know that he is their good shepherd. And they are lost, caught in the things of the world. God is calling them. God is crying out and saying to us, each one of us, each leader, each lay person, go and rescue them from wherever they are caught. And in conclusion, the good shepherd, you got your Bibles, the good shepherd becomes a lamb. The good shepherd becomes a lamb. Here he was looking after the sheep. Now he becomes a lamb. And you know the story. Isaiah 53. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we escaped him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. The baby, the baby Jesus, as Pastor talked about, under the tree, all power, all might given to him. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone straight, astray, each one of us. We have turned every one of us to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him that iniquity of the whole world. Every person in the whole world, the iniquity, the sin of the whole world was laid on Jesus. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before his shears is silent, he opened not his mouth. He opened not his mouth. The good shepherd became a lamb. The good shepherd became a lamb so that none will perish, but all will have eternal life. You know people. You know people in your workplaces. You know people in your family who do not know Jesus. There is a commission on your life. There is a calling on your life. Reach out to them and tell them that the good shepherd died for them. That there is salvation. Only in the name of the little lamb who came as a baby, who preached the word, who healed the sick, raised the dead, and at the appointed time, shed his blood for the salvation of the whole world. Amen. 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 Amen.